Hey there, Selena here, and Baby Bean, and this Chunky Monkey is <laughs> is 10 months old. He scooted back so he could see himself. He turned 10 months old on August 8th. So his height is 28 and a half inches and his weight is about 24 pounds. Ooh. I really didn't, um, I didn't take his weight because I just didn't feel like having to strip him down. Um, but last Sunday we went to the ER because he had a, an accident. So they took his weight there and he was about 24.9 pounds and that was with his helmet clothes and diaper on so I just decided to subtract a pound from all of that he's walking now he walks as many places as he can um, I guess because he doesn't really like to crawl anyways um, He's trying to get to the camera. What really, really, really helped him start walking was shoes. Um, one day I put shoes on him and we went outside and walked for about 20 minutes. Just walked around on the sidewalk. And then later on the evening after I had taken the shoes off, he just walked. He walked um, from like the couch to where I was standing in the kitchen and I was actually able to get it on video and then that whole evening he was just walking. So with the walking thing like that's something that I wasn't quite ready for um even though I wanted him to walk now that he's walking it's just like I'm not ready for it. I'm not ready for when he no longer wants to hold my hand while he's walking because right now whenever like we're walking around the house like he's holding on to my hand he's not gonna go walk somewhere without me unless it's in the same room as me but I'm just not ready for him to let go of my hand to be okay with walking wherever it is that he wants to go without me I'm not ready for that yet I love being his anchor Clapping and stomping. I believe last month I said that he started clapping, but when he would clap, he would clap like this and stuff like this. But now he is clapping like this. Like he's clapping all the time. Earlier today, when he woke up, was waking up from his nap, as he was trying to wake himself up, he started clapping. Um, he can't stomp his feet on his own, but. Um, I do stomp his feet for him and then sometimes he'll try to do it too so he'll take his hands on his feet and he'll try to uh, stomp his feet that way and then sometimes he'll pick up both his feet at the same time and end up falling over it's so cute. Going outside he absolutely loved 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 going outside which I hate that um, the rainy season is getting ready to come. I feel like it's going to start like next month or in October and from then until about May, it's just going to be overcast rain, overcast rain, and just coldness. And I am not ready for that, especially since I know how much he loves to go outside. I love the um, the sunny weather and the heat, and I'm going to miss it so much. And I know he is because he absolutely loves going outside. He'll go to the door and he'll sit by the door because he wants to go out. Um, nursing, he is still nursing. Every day is different right now. Some days he nurses every two hours. Other days he wants to eat every hour, every 30 minutes. And I think it's because he's teething. I'm not exactly sure. But I know it's not because he's hungry. But I feel like, you know how like babies with bottles, they like just walk around with their bottle and they drink it whenever they want to I really feel like that's what he wants to do with me with nursing because he won't even be eating so I'll put my boo away and then he'll get mad at me and then I'll take it out again and then he'll start eating and then stop again and I really feel like he just wants to have access to the boob just whenever he feels like it he is eating more solids more food like he's eating so much now um 
and he prefers to feed himself so now if I try to feed him he won't eat it but if I give it to him to where he can pick it up on his own then he um, will actually eat it that way and that's fine with me I think it's just a lot of I have to figure out what to fix for him so that he can eat the food because a lot of times I fix stuff that he can't pick up on his own so like rice he can't pick up on his own right now um, and we eat a lot of rice and there are other things that we eat quite a bit of that he can't pick up on his own so it's just finding stuff that he can pick up on his own he does like to share food now so he'll um, if he's eating something sometimes he'll give me some which is so cute I love it I love that he's sharing and I hope that that continues on even when he's older um, that he'll share he may not share everything but I just want him to share cloth diapering this past month we have started cloth diapering right now he just has on a white one so nothing really too cute about that diaper um all of our like all of the cute ones are hanging up because I washed them yesterday so I can't show you guys any of them but I will have a video coming out on um, our stash how to cloth diaper for extremely cheap because you can actually start cloth diapering for about $20 we spent $60 total to start cloth diapering which is a lot cheaper than how some people spend $200 when they start cloth diapering I know a lot of people don't have $200 to just spend on cloth diapers like at one time um, I will have that video out if you are interested in that and with the cloth diapers I love the cloth diapers I love the patterns I'm addicted to it I want more but we can't afford more right now even though the way that we did it is cheap I don't know that he likes them I feel like he tolerates them we got some really cheap ones from wish.com and the snaps on those aren't as good as the snaps on the ones that we got off of Amazon so he actually knows how to take those off and that's what he does that's the first thing he does in the morning is he starts to take off his diaper um, teething he is I think I said that earlier that I think he is teething it's really hard to tell right now he won't let me look to see if he is getting more uh. teeth so I am giving him Highlands teething tablets which seem to be helping and I also think that that's one of the reasons why he's nursing more um, is because he's teething but it's just so hard to say he is biting more also and again I do think that that is because he's teething sleeping he is sleeping better well some nights he's sleeping better um, and it's exciting so some nights he'll sleep three to four hours without nursing now and it's exciting that we are making progress I just have to be consistent that was one of my issues in the past was that I wasn't consistent and things kept happening so that I, we kept constantly changing things um, but now that I'm being consistent he's sleeping so much better at night sometimes there are some nights where he wakes up every hour I have no idea why I think it's because he wants to be in the bed with me but um, we're working on it. Uh, yeah. Napping. Sometimes he takes one nap. Sometimes he takes two naps. It really depends on when we wake up in the morning. So if we wake up like 7 or 8 o'clock, or between 7 and 8, then he will take two naps. But if we wake up between 8 and 9 or 8 and 10-ish, then he will take one nap. Though I think today we woke up at 9 and because his first because his first nap was only like an hour and 30 minutes, he is most definitely, or at least I hope that he is still going to take another nap later on in the day and the last thing that I want to talk about is the fact that he's starting to know things he's starting to know like what things are for or how to use certain things so like he knows that his shoes go on his feet and he will pick up shoes um, and try to put them on his feet and I'll show you guys his shoes they're so cute and here's one shoe he wears size 3 in shoes and here's the other shoe we got these shoes from Walmart. I want to say that they were like 10 to $12, if not less than that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, we only have two pairs of shoes that he can fit in. We do have bigger sizes of shoes that were given to us. 
but yeah these are his shoes he wears now but um so some of the other things that he knows is like pens and pencils are used to write with so because um he watches me write and then I've actually helped him like write stuff he's actually has his first drawing which I will show you guys so this is my sketchbook this is his first drawing that he did about um at eight months and I just um held the pencil in his hand and you know helped him scribble some stuff on the paper so another thing that he knows is like um the remote works the TV so he'll be sitting here trying to push buttons on the TV on the remote and then looking at the TV to see if it's doing anything um, he also knows how to open craft doors and there's a lot of other stuff he knows but those are just some of the things that I can that I could think of when I was planning this video he is starting to put things back an example would be like we have this and it's got all the shapes on the inside so sometimes he'll take the shapes out and he'll put a few back in or he'll actually try to put the shapes in this hole um, usually he only tries to do this hole he doesn't try to do the other ones but he knows that it goes in there and um, like earlier I had my phone in my bra just cuz I had on a dress and I didn't have any pockets so he took it out and then he tried to put it back in and then he took it out and tried to put it back in. Kept doing that so he's uh, learning how to put stuff back where he got it from. He also knows how to drink from a straw now which just kind of happened randomly. Um, he doesn't drink out of all straws. It's just my water bottle that he knows how to drink out of. Which is weird that he only knows how to do it out of that one. But that's fine. I think that's cool that he knows how to drink out of a straw. We do want to get him a sippy cup to where he can drink out of a straw. He actually has one, but it's really weird to where you have to bite on the straw in order to get some of the water out. So we don't like that one because he's not going to know to do that at this age. So I want to get him one where all he has to do is just suck up whatever's in the um, cup. So, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys, I have a lot of videos planned, so you can subscribe for those. New video every Sunday and every Wednesday. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I would love to make a video on them. And until next time, deuces.